Hello, this time, we will make a grid cube effect using Niagara. First, create a Niagara system by adding an empty template. Changes the particle's position in the level to local space. When you create spawned particles in grid from emitter update, error will show. Then, fix this error in grid location from particle spawn will be created. In the spawned particles in grid, set the values to 5 to make the particles of 5x 5q, and adjust the distance between particles by setting the dimension value in grid location. Next, add the mesh renderer and set the cube mesh in the renderer. The cube mesh is too large, so in initialize particle, set the mesh scale mode to uniform and reduce the size. Then particles appear in the form of a 5x5 cube. Save and return to the content drawer. And create a material. After setting the blend mode to translucent, create a particle color node and connect it to the emissive color and opacity as shown in the video to set the color of the cube in Niagara. Back in the Niagara system, apply the material we just created in the mesh renderer. Next, create a new scratch pad module in Particle Spawn. Set the execution count to retrieve the number of particles currently spawned in MapGet. Then create an add node and add one to the execution count to start the count at one. Next, normalize to a range between 0 and 1 using the normalized execution index node. Next, create a float type variable and set it in the map set. And by connecting the normalized execution index, note to the variable created in the map set, the index information of the normalized particles is stored in the variable. Next, create one more map get and map as shown in the video. To set the color of particles, create a curve for colors variable in map get. Create a frac node that takes in values and outputs the fractional portion of those values. Next, hit the index value and connect the result to the sample color curve node. Next, connect output values to the curve for colors variable to set the color curve so that the color range is set based on the index value. Finally, set the color variable in the map set and connect the sample color curve node to apply the particle color. Now, if you press the apply button at the top, the color curve appears. Set the desired color. At this time, you should set the opacity at the bottom of the curve bar to see the color. If you set the color, you can see that the color is divided according to the curve for each particle. Next, we will change the size of each cube sequentially. First, create a scale mesh size in particle update. And in the scale factor, the vector from float is used to make vector values a single value. Then create a float value as a curve and set the curve value like the video.
to receive particle index values individually and apply these values to size values. Set the add filter in curve index and then set the normalize exec index variable set in the scratch module. To change the size of each cube over time, we add a sign filter. Finally, create update mesh orientation to set the rotation value of particles. Now, when you place Niagara in your level, you can see the Q grid effect. 